I'm Megan. Welcome to my studio. Let's pour. Kia ora, Pipia from New Zealand. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. I hope you enjoy these challenges as much as we've enjoyed doing them. Hello, I'm Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and most likely I'm addicted to painting. Hi, I'm Susan Teague and this is Triumph and you can find us on YouTube at Susan Teague 1962. Hello, I'm Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and today I'm making a video collaboration in um, working with a number of other painters on YouTube and we've all challenged each other to create different paintings using the same colours and methods. So we're all using a pink or magenta coloured with a blue of our choice and then we're doing a swipe with either a black or a white. So we've got quite a limited palette, a pink and a blue and a black or a white but we're doing a swipe and it'll be interesting to see how everyone's come out differently so look underneath the video into the description and you see links for all the other channels all the other um, youtubers that are taking part in this challenge and if you hang it on to the end then there'll be some pictures of all of the, the different paintings you'll be able to see how you can create quite a lot of different looks just using a, a very simple palette so I'm going to use these paints these are the PBO, or do you pronounce it PBO? I don't know. PBO Studio Acrylics. They're high viscosity, and these are their Dyna colours. So I've got the the pink, which is called a, a violet blue, and um, that's number three five six, and number three five eight, which is the blue um, blue green iridescent. So they both kind of change, and I've done. Don't look too closely. This is my little colour testing sheet just here. And I've done, um, just put a little bit of paint on the sheet and they change colour a little bit in the light. So I'll be interested to see whether they still keep those same kind of features um, when I put it into my pour. So I'm also going to mix my paint with some Floetrol. This is what I'll use as my pouring medium and a little bit of water. And then this is the liquid wrench silicon spray that I'm going to use. And you can get all of these products and everything that you need for acrylic pouring over at the store. So head on over to acrylicpouring.com and follow the links from there over to the store where you can get all of your supplies. So I'm just going to clear this to one side and get started on mixing these paints. So I used a slightly different method to um, mix up my paints this time. I just took a, a random amount of paint, squeezed it into my little pot here, and then I used this um, pouring medium. So basically what I did here was I got one of these squeeze bottles and according to weight, I put in two parts of Floetrol and one part of water. So it's basically two thirds Floetrol, one third water. Because what I've become a bit concerned about is adding too much water to the paint. And so here, if I need to thin the paint a bit further, I'm actually adding more binder, more Floetrol as well as water. So I'm not ending up with some paint, some Floetrol, and then adding continual amounts of water to get to the consistency I want. So by doing this, I'm making sure that I'm adding enough binder as well as I'm adding enough water. So I've got my colours mixed up. So this is basically the paint plus two thirds, uh, plus the pouring medium, which is two thirds Floetrol and one third water. And it's a little thinner than I usually use because I find that I think it works a little bit thinner, uh, works a bit better for swipes if your paint's just that little bit thinner. So I've made those up. Yeah, I think that's good. That blue one's a bit thicker than the pink, but I think that'll be good. And then I'm just going to take my spray and put a spray in each. So these, I've got quite a lot of silicone today, more than I would usually use. And again, it's all an experiment because, you know, these are new paints for me. I've not used these paints before. It's also a different way of mixing. Um, I'm going to use a different method of swiping. And I've got a bit more silicone in there than I would probably normally use too. So. We'll see, it could be a complete disaster, but that's why, you know, we all work together and we try out different things and we experiment, don't we? So I've got my tile set up here, which I'm going to swipe onto, and I've used my little levels to make sure that if I do get something that I like, that I can leave it to, to dry and it's going to stay there. So what I'm going to do um, is put the two tiles up adjacent to each other, because I've got a vague plan in my mind of what I think I want to do and we'll see if it works out. I actually don't want too much black on here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put the black on the tile and swipe over my colors. But you know, whoever knows, we'll see, won't we? So I've got a bit of black, which I'll just 
use to start off along the top just there. And I think I'm also going to just put a bit along the bottom. Oops. That just gives me a bit more control by putting the paints in the little squeezy things. And then I'm just going to layer up these other colours and we'll kind of see what happens, I think. I'm not going to do it in any particular design, I think, because um, I want it to look kind of irregular and these, you know, the colours will all come through and we'll see what happens. And it's always an experiment when you do this kind of thing, which is why I love it so much. I love this style of painting that, you know, even if we're all using the same colour, if we're all doing a swipe or if I do something today, which is very similar to something I did yesterday, I'll most likely get completely different results. And that's, you know, one of the reasons why I just love this so much. It's so unpredictable. You really never know what you are going to get. And, um, you know, you could be pleasantly surprised or unpleasantly surprised sometimes by your paintings every time. So, a bit more. I know from experience I probably don't need to cover the whole thing because as I swipe, um, some of these gaps are going to fill in. As long as I've got enough up at the top here. By the time I get down the bottom, it'll probably all spread out but we'll see again it's an experiment isn't it so we'll see what happens and now I'm thinking I'm going to put a bit more blue at the bottom because I'm going to give myself the option if I've got a bit more paint here at the bottom that I may want to come back and swipe up the other way we'll see I don't know probably that's probably a waste because by the time I've added it and then I swipe from the top it'll probably all kind of disappear anyway so, have I got enough? Let's add a bit more up at the top, just to make sure. Well, we can never be sure, can we? That's all part of it, we can never be sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna just add a bit more of my black up here. So I'm just layering it up here on the tile, which is adjacent to the one that I'm gonna paint on or that I want to be my finished result and um, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to use um, these little um, paint chip cards that I get from the DIY store. I find that these are really easy, um, easier for me than the scraper tools I've been using or the um, acetate which I can't get here. So let's zoom in now and we'll see how this swipe goes. So here we go, I'm going to swipe off of this tile and onto this one. Oh, I'm liking the colours, that looks very nice. I did miss the edge though. If I just pop a little bit of paint there, just swipe down the edge. Oh, and I've done it too much. Just fill that in. It's going to be good. Yeah, it's good. Make another one. Let's see if I can swipe all of this. Oh, I missed a bit. Okay, it's good. I've got plenty. We can swipe some more. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to just clean off my little cards here because I like to use everything again if I can. And while I clean them off, we'll just take a look at that painting and see what the colours are all doing together. I think they look really nice. It does look nice. Okay bit of paint all over the place. So now I'm looking at it I'm not sure that I actually want to swipe back up. I think it looks pretty good as it is. I'm just going to get a paintbrush I think and just tidy up the edges. So it's still looking good. Just got a few little bits of pieces on the side here. Very small little bits where the paint's a little bit thin on this edge. Just touch that up with some of the drips on the edge here. But that looks very good, I don't have to worry about it. The corners are good, the bottom here is all covered. The only thing we need to consider is this top part. It's of course where the tile was, so I'm just going to pull that one away. Ah, perfect! The paint has gone down right in here, in this area between the two, and the top is completely black. It's a nice little um, swipe up in that corner that looks good. I can see two tiny flaws, got a tiny bubble of um, white showing through here. There's a little blue one, a tiny bit of blue in there, and there's a tiny little pink one, just a tiny bit of pink in there. And I think we're good. 
Now I was, I have got this um, new torch. My main torch that I use is really, really fierce. And I thought, oh, you know, maybe there'll be some small details and things that I want to torch. And I was going to give this one a try. But I think I'm going to put this aside for another day because this is perfect as it is. Oh, there's a tiny bit of black just there. I'm going to keep my eye on it as it dries because I did add quite a bit of silicon. Make sure I don't end up with any tiny little gaps, but I think it's... I think I've got them all. So that's it. I am absolutely delighted with this. Those um, iridescent colours, and I can't lift it up right now, but I'm looking at it from sideways on, you know, from the light, and it's really um, sparkling. I can see lots of colour variation and changes as I look. So I think when this is dry, it's going to look pretty damn spectacular. So I'm very, very happy with these paints. It was these ones, the Studio Acrylics from Pebio. You can get those in the Acrylic Pouring store. There'll be a link underneath the video for the Acrylic Pouring website and the store and links to where you can get all of the products that I've used in this video. And hang around now because you'll get to see the images from all of the other painters that took part in this collaboration. And you'll see how we all used the same simple palette, all used a swipe and created some really gorgeous but very, very different pictures. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Debbie at acrylicpouring.com.